Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to create a stopwatch in React.js. As you can see, this is my blank React app and in order to get started, let's create a component called stopwatch.js inside our components directory. It's going to be our component and let's import React on the top as a first step. Okay, let me zoom in. React from React and after import, we need to export our component function export default function and then the name of the component which is stopwatch okay and here we need to return whatever we want the html part actually let me put this fragments okay and here we need to put an h1 tag inside which we're going to show the timer actually and also a button to restart the stopwatch and uh, let me give it some class of bootstrap like btm info and another button so we can actually pause the timer let's give the text pause and the class name would be btm warning or maybe danger <laughs> okay let's import the component inside after js so we can observe it on the web page okay and then add the tag of the component here which is stopwatch great and run your app and as you can see this is our app but let me add a btn to the class name so the style is actually our app like okay now it looks better so let's make it dynamic let's create a state for our timer at first const time and set time as a set state method and after creating the state we need to create a function so we can actually increment this number every second so let's say function time incrementer is actually going to apply the set interval function and inside set interval we need to have an error function inside this error function we're going to use a set time and increment the time every time so let's say brief time should be brief time plus one and this method should happen each 1000 milliseconds which is actually every second okay and we need to call this function uh, whenever the page is loaded so we need to uh, apply this function inside a use effect function so let's say use effect and uh, this use effect is going to have an error function inside it inside this error function we need to invoke this time incrementer and here let's render the time state inside our h1 tags okay as you can see it's going up crazily so we need to actually use some variable that is not re-rendered each time is changed so we need to use a user app hook let's create an let's create a variable called time handler for example and it's going to be a use ref uh -huh. and uh, this set interval should be assigned to a use ref so we can actually change it uh, without re-rendering the page okay and we also need to put the current after our use ref and after time increment is invoked we need to return this error function which is going to clear the interval which is actually our use ref time handler dot current okay and uh, this is going to work actually and don't forget to import use ref and uh, let's take a look and refresh the page all right as you can see it's an ordinary stopwatch now uh, let's work on the unclick methods of the buttons uh, first we need to uh, have an unclick method for a restart so let's say unclick it's going to 
uh, be an error function and inside this error function we should uh, set the time to zero so set time zero would be the syntax let's give it a try and if I could click on restart yeah it starts from zero great and the next one is the pause button which is going to uh, pause the timer actually the unclick method should be an error function and this error function is going to actually clear interval which is our useref uh, which is a timer handler the set interval is assigned let me copy this and paste it inside this clear interval function okay so whenever we click on pause the interval is cleared let me refresh the page click on pause yeah as you can see it's paused that's all thanks for watching